Hello everyone, this is Ian the Gamer, and we are finally here in the last level of the game. Finally. Starting off with some falling totems. A pillar in the palace in the sky turned into a monster by Medusa. They fall down from the ceiling and pile up on each other. These little starfish looking characters are Mola, a flying starfish. It catches its enemies using its forelegs and starts eating them. Ugh. Molas usually go around in groups. Indeed they do. And we're gonna want to get a bunch of hearts here so we can have $9.99 at the end of the game to get the best ending, as we said before. Oh, this is Uranus, the god of revenge in Greek legend. It will not forgive those who have entered the palace in the sky. It is said that no one has seen it and lived to tell the tale. Yeah, if you hit this bastard in his body, he will split into different parts and attack, and it's hard to avoid. Here we got, uh, Sirens. The wicked creature of legend, if Pit is caught unaware by her beautiful female form, she'll attack Pit with the steely claws on her feet. And the plants are called Daphne. Isn't that the girl from Scooby-Doo? Anyway, a flower that blooms in the palace in the sky, it has been taken over by an evil spirit. It flaps its leaves to fly, and its four petals are tipped with poisonous thorns. Zuri, the evil ghost, brought in by Medusa to guard the palace. They roam around in groups, yet they have little fighting powder. Power. Powder. Bleh. Nevertheless, don't let them catch Pit unaware. Make sure that Pit finishes them all off. I think depending on maybe how many arrows you have, or maybe how many enemies you defeat, uh, this level can loop for quite a while. <coughs> Much sure about the exact criteria. Probably have to go to GameFAQs to check that out. But you definitely want to defeat as many enemies as possible. Since Pit has the wings, shield, and the laser beam. The sacred arrow. And the sacred bow. Well, we pretty much maxed out our hearts by now. We are good to go in that area. And we have eight uh, bottles in the barrel. We have plenty of health to refill if we need it. Yep. And three feathers that we don't need because they're utterly useless. Here they have the description of uh, Medusa, the big evil gatekeeper who has occupied the palace in the sky. The goddess who was turned into an ugly monster by pa Palatina, she does all she can to be evil and nasty. Palatina, who we're going to rescue, the goddess of light. She used to be the highest of the gods in Angel Land, but now is held prisoner by Medusa. The source of her power, the three sacred treasures, were stolen away from her by Medusa. Medusa is an evil thief. Those guys aren't Casper, I'll tell you that much, they're not very friendly. And they leave a little, little icky deaky hearts. Oh, here we go, boss music. The scenery is changing. And here we come up against Medusa with a giant face in the eye. Got a shooter in the eye, she has these snakes that'll attack. Known as Thanatos, a snake that lives in Medusa's hair. Thanatos means death in Greek. It is really strong and powerful. And it's so powerful, it takes one shot. Yeah. Just keep shootering in the eye. And I think there's a safe safe spot you can stand. Yeah, right here in front of her. She'll just shoot down at an ankle, and you can... All you have to worry about is the snakes. But if you have eight uh, barrels, uh, eight health in the barrel, there's really not much to worry about. Just constantly shoot. Oh, and it was a false Medusa. There she is, and she falls down dead. And we have won, finally! Yay! Hi, Palatina. Nice to see you, with your green hair. Thank you, Pit. You're welcome. And she uses her magic to turn us into a form, depending on, uh, the criteria where we beat the game. Oh, and she gives us a kiss. We get fancy pillars and 
more statues, I guess she'll turn them back into real life later. And little angel guys throwing hearts on us. Medusa was destroyed and Light of Peace returned to Angel Land, but in order to maintain peace, Pit's struggle continues, and indeed he got a sequel on Game Boy, Myths and Monsters. Similar format. A bit easier though. And should we get some nice music? This is a pretty fun game. Once you get used to it, it's really not too hard. It's just the first section that's brutal. But once you get past that and you power yourself up, it's actually pretty enjoyable. I like it anyway. Hip Tatenka. Hip Tanaka, sorry. Same guy who did Metroid. This melody is very similar to the ending in Metroid as well. Now that we've beaten the game, you could start it over, and you'll uh, have, I think, all your weapons and the five arrows, if you have five of them. So you'll just start the way you did before, kind of a new game plus. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this LP, and I'll see you guys in another time. Take care.